years after having a car and years after having a tractor, my great-grandfather was still a mule man. His name was Johnny Russell Givens, and this farm is named after him. The unanimous description I've heard from everybody is that he was a very kind, very giving man who wanted nothing from anybody. He just wanted to be down here with himself and his family and nature. And he loved wildlife, particularly birds, plants, animals. Like me, he wasn't a hunter, but he still appreciated conservation. We have about 80-ish acres of pasture and about 200 acres of hardwoods. The original home place has about 20 acres in the hayfield, a little over 2,000 feet of creek frontage. It's got a spring behind the house, flows year round. The parcel adjoining over here with the old home place, we know it as the Knolls family home place. It has a spring as well. It is also on the creek. It's got a nice hay field, about eight acres or so. That was where they used to grow tobacco and they would hang tobacco in that old house in the Knolls family home place. We have even more hay fields. It's actually surprisingly fertile to be up on top of a ridge. That continues on to the backside of our property where there's also additional springs that flow all the time and more of the same kind of ridge and valley ecosystem that you see on the front. He used to stand right on top of our ridge and talk about how he wanted to build a house up here. And I think you can see today what a wonderful home place that it would be.